A couple of weeks ago, I completed a season of live streams with a randomized grid on F1 Manager. And we managed to end some of F1's longest droughts during our time as the new boss at Ferrari. We got Fernando Alonso his first win since Germany 2012. We also got the Spaniard his third world championship. And in the process of that, we ended the wait of 15 years for a championship at Ferrari, clinching both the drivers and constructors' titles. Here's Fernando Alonso. We've joined him just in time. He's no longer a double world champion. Fernando Alonso is a triple world champion. He wins the Brazilian Grand Prix. That's nine race wins in a row on this save for Ferrari. B1, absolutely. And by the season's end, we were curious to see how the driver market would shift. But we were thwarted by the game on stream because most of our staff were out of contract. Today, though, we find out how the randomised driver market shakes out for season two. Hello folks and welcome to a special episode of the Randomized Grid F1 Manager series. This is the postseason what happens next with the driver market episode. We've been live streaming this series on the channel. They're all here for you to go back and watch if you so wish. And we're about to find out what happens next because we wanted to in our final live stream but we have some contracts to renew and full disclosure this is actually the second time I'm recording this video so the intro you've just seen is the original intro nothing has changed from like that but the way that the video then panned out wasn't very exciting so we didn't get a huge amount of driver shifting so what I've done is I've gone into the editor and I've made everyone's contract expire at the end of the season so all the drivers are now up for grabs and we're going to see how the game handles it. The only two drivers who are definitely sticking around are Alonso and Ocon who have a year remaining on their deals. So first order of business is to find some replacements for these guys unless they're not interested. Uh, Enrique Cardile is not interested. I think uh, Xavi Padros isn't interested either. So I'm going to go ahead and renew contracts and hire some new folks and I'll come back to you once I've done that then we'll see what chaos awaits us in the driver market. Contracts all sorted then and welcome Pierre Wachet, I'm not sure how you say his last name but this is the guy from Red Bull, the technical chief there, he's no longer there, he's at Ferrari. Uh, we've renewed Diego Tondi's contract, we've hired Bono from Mercedes, he's going to be Alonso's race engineer I think, although we're not going to be carrying on this save. This is all sort of fictional. Uh, Laura Mekis and Ricardo Adami are still with us as well. We've still got Alonso and Ocon, so let's see how the game handles the driver market. We've got a little bit of pre-season stuff to deal with. The new season car reveal, you don't actually get to see the car. Uh, spoiler alert, it's red. Uh, we'll accept the new target, that's fine. And once it's decided what to do, Welcome to the 2024 season. Hooray. Okay. Uh, it won't show us the new driver lineups straight away over here in an email. But we can go over to standings and to championship and to drivers. And immediately, well, Lewis Hamilton's gone back to Mercedes. <laughs> he's gone back to Mercedes. His contract was up at, for, uh, at Red Bull and he's decided he doesn't like it there. He's going back to the Silver Arrows. Uh, Charles Leclerc remains at Red Bull and is joined by Max Verstappen. I have a suspicion it's just choosing them by rating again. So Lewis going to Merck because he's only 89 rated now. That's interesting. He's had a bit of a drop off in his abilities. Verstappen has then taken that seat at Red Bull as you would expect. Sonoda has gone to Williams, interestingly. Gasly returns to Alpine alongside Sainz. George Russell hasn't gone back to Mercedes. That's interesting. So who is at, who's in the other Mercedes seat? Oh, may, maybe it's Perez. Might be Perez. But George Russell's at McLaren. Daniel Ricciardo has joined Alpha Tauri. Who's next? Lando Norris. George Russell and Lando Norris remain teammates. <laughs> I did not expect to see that. That's crazy. Uh, Valtteri Bottas and Lance Stroll are now the Aston Martin drivers. 
So it's Sergio Perez who's gone to Mercedes. Interesting. Uh, Albon is back at Alpha Tauri. Uh, Joe joins uh, Sonoda in an all Asia lineup at Williams. That's interesting. Piastri joins Haas. De Vries is in an Audi. Mick Schumacher's in as well. And Ayuma Iwasa. Wow! There's an F2 graduate. That's insane. Did he win the championship? Who won the championship? Let me... Where are we? Uh, standings. Where can I find this? Bear with. Unfortunately, unable to find historic F2 championship standings on the game, which is sad because that would have been interesting to know. I don't think we paid any attention to what was going on in the junior formula, but that is a real surprise. There's some drivers. Who's missing from here? Um, because there's clearly someone not here. I'm trying to work out who's not. It's Logan Sargent, who's not on the grid. Obviously, he's quite lowly rated. I think he's only rated at 73, and he didn't have a particularly great season with Aston Martin, so he's not made the cut. So that's quite interesting that, you know, it sticks to the, the theory that we've already uncovered on this channel, with the driver market, that it, it selects drivers based on their overall rated ability, which kind of makes sense. But that's interesting that you, it's, it's sorted them like that. That That's kind of interesting to me. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I mean, we could always carry this on with a different team or we could re-randomize the grid again. But for now, the live stream series is McLaren with no upgrades until Austria. Hence the funky... Uh, overalls that George and Lando are sporting now because we've got a retro livery rocking the McLaren at the moment so make sure you tune in on Sunday for some more of that and later this afternoon this evening we'll be doing some F123 open lobbies and we'll be discussing Saudi Arabian Grand Prix qualifying results so thanks for joining me on this journey with the randomized live street randomized grid live streams this brings it to an end at least for now but we'll see you for the next live stream in the next video, which will be our new adventure starting on Monday with Hass. That's all I'll say for now. I'll see you next time. You're the best fans.